So I need to find the center of a circle, but the only tools that I have access to are a writing instrument and some squares. Well, I'm gonna show you three different methods on how you can accurately find the center of a circle. So in the first method, we'll be just using the framing square. What we wanna do is we're gonna set the framing square on top of our circle. And we wanna set it so that the point comes right up to the edge, leaving just enough room for our writing instrument so that it's right on the edge of the circle. Once we have that, we can scribe two lines, one here and one here. Now where the ends of those lines meet the edge of the circle, now we need to draw a line across. So let me line these up real quick. And then we'll scribe a line going across. Might be off just a hair on this side. So now we need to do this one more time. So we're gonna rotate about 90 degrees, set it up again. Remember to leave just enough room for our writing instrument so that it comes to the point. And then we'll scribe two lines. And where those two points meet the end of the circle, now we can connect the dots. And where those two lines cross, that is the center of your circle. We can check this by going one more time. So we'll set our square up on this side now. Come just off the edge there. Scribe our first line, our second, and then connect those points. And you can see that is the center of the circle. In this next method, we're gonna use both the framing square and the rafter square, and we're gonna kind of make our own center finder. So what we wanna do is we wanna set the rafter square onto the framing square like this, and then we're gonna slide it up so that the edge of our 45 degree angle here passes right through the apex of the, or the corner, the inside corner of that framing square. Now we can set the framing square on the outside edge of our circle. Just make sure that we are lined up right in the center here. Once we have that, we can scribe a line. Then we'll turn it 90 degrees and we'll do it one more time. So let me make sure that my square is on the outside and then my rafter square is brought up to the center. When you strike that across, that is the center of your circle. We can do it one more time, just off angle here, just to check it and make sure that we are accurate. And you can see that it comes. Now my circle's not quite perfect, so it was off just ever so slightly, but you get the idea. That is the center of the circle. Now for this last method, I brought in a little smaller square, so it's a little easier to handle. And what we wanna do is we wanna draw two chords. So we wanna make this chord an even number though, so it's easy to split in half. So I'm gonna make this one seven inches from one to, or excuse me, eight inches from one to nine here. Draw your chord, and then we're gonna mark the center point, which in this case will be five, so it'll be four inches in total. So we'll set that over there, and you can see that is four inches. Now, to get the center point, what we wanna do is turn our square around. We're gonna set it right on our line right there, and right on that point, and then we're gonna draw a line. And I'm off just ever so slightly on that one, but you get the general idea. And then we're gonna do the same thing again. So we're gonna come over here, we're gonna draw our chord. I got eight inches there. So we'll draw it across, we'll find the center line. And then we'll turn our, bring our square up to that point right on our line. And then we will mark it and where those two cross, that is the center of your circle. So that is three different ways that you can accurately find the center of a circle using common job site squares. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next one.